my name is Bart Korteweg. I'm senior manager in the Netherlands with uh, Deloitte. Uh, I'm currently advising financial services companies entering the Dutch market, but also advising them in the regulatory landscape, uh, basically assessing a point of, of, uh, of touch in, in the Netherlands. Before joining ISB, I worked as an auditor at EY uh, in the Netherlands, uh, auditing uh, uh, financial co services companies in the Netherlands, mostly insurance companies, uh, but also working in Rotterdam, so uh, a lot of harbor companies as well. After that, uh, I joined the authority for the financial markets in the Netherlands, it's like the SEBI in India, uh, so it's the regulator in, in uh, the Dutch uh, of financial markets, specifically on the conduct of business side. Uh, so I was doing supervisory uh, investigations on financial services companies, uh, but also uh, professionalizing the, the, the firm itself, helping them with their strategy, uh, forming uh, the, 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 the supervisory tools basically, but also further developing the people over there. Well, because of my experience in the financial services industry, uh, I was looking for my next opportunity, uh, but also wanted to consolidate my, my knowledge at that time and further expanding uh, the knowledge. Uh, and I also had the wish to, uh, to settle down in India. Uh, and India for, for me was a really interesting country uh, because of the, the, the strong developments in the financial services industry. Uh, so that was the reason why I wanted to go to India and then specifically ISB uh, because it's one of the best uh, business schools in the world and basically going to us in India. Well, for me, the, the financial services industry in, the, in India is quite an interesting market. First of all, because there's a lot of growth opportunity. For example, uh, the normal banking account, the most simple product in the financial services industry in my opinion. Uh, of the 1.2 billion people, only estimates in of 300 million people have a bank account in India. So that, that shows a bit of the growth. Uh, but also, you know, apart from products available on the market, it was also a, com a country uh, really interesting because it was focusing, focusing on a low cost perspective. So for me, that was an, an uh, important learning school uh, that I could use also in, in the Netherlands or in Europe, uh, you know, by further expanding what exactly, what, uh, what, what was causing this, this low cost profile of those company in, in India. Well, I think AIDS is not really important if you enter a school, you know, whatever background you have, you have always something to bring in on the table. Uh, that counts for me with my, my vast experience in the finance service industry but also people that just joined uh, or started their career off. So basically it doesn't matter, it's just the mindset of the people that makes it interesting, the conversation that makes it interesting, and that for sure was available in, in ISB. Well, the learning experience in India is, is, is really different uh, than the one I had in the Netherlands. First of all, there's relative grading. Uh, we don't have that in, in the Netherlands at all. Basically, you get the grade for whatever you do, uh, and it's always compared to what the, the, the teacher expects or the system expects. So it's never uh, relative towards the, the student's population. And the student's population in India is, is quite uh, ambitious. Uh, you know, they want to be on the Dean's List, at least most of the people. Uh, so, you know, uh, follow track on, on, on this group of, of really ambitious people it was quite tough for me. Uh, especially from my Dutch background, uh, but it made it interesting as well, you know. Uh, uh, I have a learning mindset, so basically it doesn't matter where I go. Uh, whatever I see, whatever feels interesting for me, uh, I will try to, to, to get, you know, my understanding of what is happening around me. Uh, so basically I start off all the time uh, with, without, or at least I try to do it without uh, using my background. Uh, of course, you know, when, when we had the conversations in class, you know, I was trying to, 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 to share my, my experience with, with the people in, in the class, you know, to show them how it was in, in the real world, how it was happening in the real world. It was just uh, something adding, you know, to the learning experience, but not blocking my learning experience at all. 
uh, and coming back to your question on, on being part of a learning environment in an uh, emerging market, uh, I think what, what differs in, in India is, is the strong connection with what I call the soul uh, of, of companies. You know, we're constantly striving in, 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 in Europe or you know, Western countries you know, to go back where, where the real added value of the company is. But most companies forget basically where they come from. The true, uh, the true soul uh, is, is hidden somewhere in the company. And that's the good thing in India, I think. That's, the, that's at least the, the most important thing I caught uh, in my learning experience here. The connection between business and having an actual soul. I think Indian people are quite open-minded. Uh, they're always interested in, in foreigners, so it was quite easy to blend in here. Prior ISB, I, I did my study as, as an auditor, uh, and after that I did several courses on political science, on uh, law, uh, financial law. Uh, so I've broad experience also from my educational background and even here you know it, it, I try to blend all the knowledge available into uh, you know creating direction in, in a company. I think that the people in general at, at ISB were really supportive you know in, in, in making it the best learning experience one could offer uh, and for me as, 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 as a foreigner it, it, it really helped me you know, settling down here and on campus itself, but also further expanding the possibilities in the Indian market as well. Uh, I, I remember we had an, a session with, with some leaders of, of the companies here in India, for example, uh, SKS Microfinance, and those really add you know, to the overall experience uh, at ISB but also get a deep insight on how companies function here in, in India. That truly helped me, you know, by further uh, expanding the knowledge I have about companies, but also broadening my mindset there. Uh, and I think the people were really supportive in everything I did here. Well, at ASB I did a majors, two majors actually in, in finance and, and strategy and leadership. And they both added value to the knowledge I had already but also making me fully aware of my, my own capabilities. And I think that was the most important step forward uh, during my year at ISB. That truly helped me uh, in, in, in the years to come after that. So I joined uh, Deloitte uh, a couple of months after ISB. I firstly uh, explored the possibilities of setting up my own uh, consulting firm. Uh, but then I found out that, that Deloitte offered me a really uh, a great experience there. Uh, they had a position available that truly matched my background, but also my interest in, in further expanding uh, my role in the financial services industry in the Netherlands. And I could really build on, on the knowledge I just mentioned about you know, looking for a true soul within the companies itself. I was able to combine uh, my managerial insights into making it work within a company. Well, I was prior to ISB. I was always very uh, oriented towards my uh, people in the in the team. Uh, but what really changed my mindset there is is that you know uh, taking them along, basically further developing them, but also challenging them on the way. I used to do that. But the way I did it was, was completely different. I was just helping to get the jobs done. But what uh, changed during ISB that I was helping them to become what they wanted. And that really helped me, you know, to further uh, build a team, but also uh, providing them the message that they could do whatever they wanted. Uh, and because of that strength in themselves, uh, they can do uh, the best within the jobs as well. I think the anecdote we had was, was at the, one of the sessions on, on complexity. And basically it was uh, one of the NASA uh, professors and he, he was an amazing guy. And basically what, what he, he, he told us like, hey, just be yourself. Uh, if you are yourself, the best comes out. And I think that was the really best advice I got during this year. Uh, and also, 
you know, uh, put a vast ground underneath my own soul, basically. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Uh, what, what really helps me uh, during my day-to-day -day work is, is that I'm constantly thinking as a leader, basically. And that makes it interesting because you're constantly exploring the best opportunities, you know, to move forward with your team, with your company or with the client. And that mindset, I didn't have it before I, I came to ISB. So that really changed uh, my way of working, uh, but also uh, made it really easy for me uh, to add value to everything what I did.